Hi. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the, the running of the, the plugin which I've been working on for this hackathon. Uh, it's called um, Mattermost Plugin Netlify. So, if you're not familiar with Netlify, Netlify is a hosting platform for front end applications. Uh, it, it have popularized the concept of Jamstack, basically JavaScript uh, and the APIs. Um, <clears throat> it is widely used uh, for uh, many websites who just need a front end server running, or uh, you can also connect your back end application, but this is just mainly for your hosting of your front end application part. So you can just drag and drop your sites for it to build automatically. And um, uh, it's very convenient and, and it's very quick. So it has opened up, uh, it has opened up its API for us to, uh, uh, you know, interact with the Netlify application. So um, I have built that, uh, plugin to manage those features <coughs> so to start with uh, you can download the latest release from the release uh, uh, page of the plugin and uh, head back to your console and uh, drop down in your plugin management and uh, once you do that um, we can go to the settings tab of the plug and uh, uh, go back to your application and you can you should create a new application for it to generate the credentials so i've already created one so you can have you can paste the client ids the the secret and everything in back in the matterpost console So I'm although I'm exposing this, I will probably delete this later on when I complete this video. So it's okay. So uh, one thing I have to change here is the redirect URI, which is supposed to be the, the base along with the base URL of your uh, application or where your Matamos is Matamos application hosted and. Uh, and if I start so it's already I think it's already same so that's okay so <clears throat> then I hit save and um, uh, and I hit save here too if, I, if you are done with your configuration that you can enable and save it again for the changes to take place so I've already enabled this plugin so I'm going to head back to the to my channel and uh, so I'll just take a new channel probably with this and um, just refresh it a bit so I've already connected uh, my plugin to Mattermost so I'm just going to do it again to show you how the, the connect and connection command works so I'm going to type in slash netlify and uh, hang on I also need to configure my one more thing I'm going to configure my uh, site URL to this URL I'm just going to quick check in if that's fine yeah I think that's that's okay okay so yeah, so connect. Uh, this command connects your Mattermost to account to the Netlify account. So I'm going to run that and it's going to give me a link which when I click goes to the Netlify uh, authorized authorization page where it's asking with permission I can give it authorize instruction and then it's going to say me it's, it's connected and you can close the safety tab. So I am going to have a new 
message from Netlify into my Netlify EM channel and it's going to tell me that you have successfully connected your application Netlify application to your MetaMask account so it's going to give me a handful list of the commands which I can run and other information so <clears throat> so if you want to disconnect you can just run disconnect command and then it will be disconnected so um, <clears throat> you can run the commands in any channel um, it's not that you have to run that in only in Netlify DM channel so I'm going to run that over here <coughs> um, the first command which I want to show you is if I want to see which all um, sites I have in my Netlify account I need to run the command called uh, Netlify list so before that I'll just go ahead and see what all the sites I have in my account so I have I think six sites and uh, to see that over here I can just like and you can see that it's it's giving me information such as the URL and the repository from where uh, it's connected if, it, if it's connected to repository and the branch and managed by which team so each in Atlify you can have you can be part of multiple teams and which when was last updated so this could give you a quick rundown of how many websites you have in your Netlify and uh, the next command I'm going to refer to my readme so that I can <coughs> the next command uh, if at all you need any help you can just write slash Netlify help it will It will give you a list of commands at your disposal, and uh, if 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 you want to if you want to see which account is connected to the Netlify, you can just uh, enter in the command for Netlify me, and it's going to give you the account which was connected to your Metamost, and. Uh, <coughs> um, and the next command which I want to show you is uh, is called uh, deploy. So basically, if I want to deploy an application right from the Matterverse, so let's see. Uh, probably open this. And uh, so here is where the, all the deploys you can see all the deploys which have happened for this particular website. So I'm going to open this, and then. Uh, just to verify that it's actually deploying and you just run the command over here it's called slash net deploy deploy okay. so it's going to first uh, give me a list of the sites which I can deploy and uh, I think I need to deploy this And once I, it's also saying once I make the selection, it's going to ask the Netlify to deploy this particular website. And to verify that, I can I can oversee that it was. Uh, let me refresh it once again. Yeah, as you can see, it was triggered by the Netlify frog bot for the Mattermost and is actually building, as you can see in the deploy logs over here. So, and uh, with this, I'm going to move on to another command that is called rollback. Uh, many times, uh, what happens is you want to roll back to your previous stable version of your website. Um, so that can be easily done with the command called Netlify rollback. So for this, uh, let me show you the website which has you know good number of commit history, and uh, I think uh, let me ch 
check if this has a lot of things and then if I run if I select my website called uh, probably major and it's going to give me yeah it was just one website so I, I think I'll just select another website So I think this is okay. So currently it will only list you the five latest releases of your website. Um, so this is the SHA ID of your git commits through which the notify uh, your website was deployed. I can select any one of them, uh, probably this one which was last updated on January uh, 2018 and it's going to ask the Netlify to roll back to that particular git so this website you can just go ahead and and see it so it will not be there in your uh, deploys because it is just a rollback so you can verify that by opening the website itself and if it was already rolled back to your previous version so um, the next command which is called su subscribe so the way this so, so whenever there is a new build in progress you can get the notification uh, in your Mattermost if you have subscribed to a channel so so it's going let us try to connect one of the commands over here so i can write slash netlify subscribe and uh, it will ask you which website you want to subscribe the notification for i'm going to Go ahead and do this one. Then it's going to all it's going to create a new web hooks uh, for the website uh, inside the Netlify. So you can verify this by going over here. And uh, going to deploy. So the new webhook just got created as you can see this one so it's going to notify us when it's failing or starting or when it has succeeded so i'm going to run this now to see if it's actually got created so yeah i got a new not notification so it says there is a new deploying process for this guy and i'm just going to fail it so that we can see the failure once and i'm going to cancel it and cancel and it's going to give me again a notification which says I, there was something wrong with the application but at this time i just cancelled it so it was just cancelled i can always visit the bit logs to see what happened is so if if it was successful i could probably get a notification something um probably i'll just deploy one more site let's see and we're going to take some time so and i'm going to subscribe this And I'm going to deploy it so that I can get a notification. Okay, and for this.
And uh, once it's done, I'm going to get a notification uh, that the Mattermost uh, have, have successfully deployed the website over there. So it's going to look something like this. And if you if you ever want to see which all subscriptions you have, you can just write Netlify subscriptions and it's going to give you the list of channels and the websites which you have subscribed to. I think, I think that's all for this video. I just wanted to, to uh, make sure that it's uh, all the readme is there uh, with the details. I just wanted to make it more uh, convenient, convenient for you to understand how the plugin works. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for giving your time. Thank you.